My next guest is a comedy legend known for his work on Saturday Night Live and movies like Joe Dirt. Somehow he said yes to an interview with Jim Dirt. Watch. Dennis Miller, I am the captain now. Good to see you, man. I uh, always answer the call for a fellow comedian because I know they have a certain, even their default level of intelligence is more than many people. Do you think, as you know, you were obviously part of the fabric of America at the height of celebrities being well regarded. Okay, we liked celebrities in the 80s in a way that we don't have this animosity towards them now because they weren't as politically active. Do you think they're running a fool's errand by not laughing at themselves? Don't you think it's more endearing to actually be a part of the cutaway and just rolling with the joke? I don't think that matters to them at all. They, just, they don't, think, they don't think in those terms? I think they think this can turn into a meme, a reel. <laughs> yeah. I look mm -hmm. at certain people uh, who they can talk about the arts and all. I, I get it. At yeah. the end of the day, people want to be famous, stay famous, uh -huh. make money. Yeah. And that can all go away overnight now mm -hmm. if somebody in their basement uh, yeah. catches you in the wrong moment and puts it up the next day mm -hmm. and demands your head on a platter. It, it, we're all like one millisecond yeah. away from being John the Baptist. It's the one thing I have going for me is my head's too big for the platter. <laughs> <laughs> like, listen, Jimmy, we wanted to cancel you, but at these circus proportions, you're going to be around for a while. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about the 80s comedy scene, because that's obviously what had the most profound impact on my own development, and I'll make it about yeah, me. Now, uh, are you in your 40s? I'm 47 now. Mm. Um, the thing I like the most about 80s comedy is obviously the green rooms were completely drug-free. <laughs> I kid. <laughs> was there, at the height of all of that debauchery, Okay, because that's what made me want to get into comedy. I consider green rooms depressing now because guys, a guy's sharing a wellness recipe with somebody else's no. yoga routine. But you saw the height. You saw the ancient Rome of stand-up comedy. <laughs> did it have to end for its own good, or did we blow it? Should we go back to the 80s? Well, let's face facts. The coin of the realm now is being uptight. I yeah. mean, uh, we, we, Kids always react against their parents. When uh -huh. your parents lead a capricious life, the kids today are the scolds. Yeah. Imagine that. They used to be the scoldees. Yeah, yeah. Now they're the scolders. <laughs> now it's never trust anybody over 30K. You know what I mean? It's all these young people who used to be, uh, they had to carve out their own niche from their parents, and their parents were greed heads. And they smoked dope. They did cocaine yeah. out the wazoo. Mm -hmm. It was like American Psycho. Isn't it and amazing? then all of a sudden, the kid goes, "Well, I'm, I got a break from my parent. I'll turn into a Puritan. I'll turn into Torquemada." <laughs> the world is upside down. Like it's literally like the kids are being like, "Hey, you adults, get off my lawn." I have a theory, and it kind of overlaps with what you said about Belzer. He didn't care what the audience thought. But do you believe that as a comic, your job is actually to lead the room? You know, I'm finished now. I, I, I'm done performing. I don't think I'll ever perform again. That's uh -huh. been a couple years. Uh -huh. uh, when I was on stage, I'm a pretty humble man in real life, but I was a really arrogant. Yeah. I, I remember thinking, these people are not here to watch you shuffle your feet yeah. and pshaw your way through this. Uh -huh. You're doing reasonably edgy material. I'm not blowing my trumpet, but I didn't do what part of the McNugget is the chair or whatever. They, you know what I mean? And uh, Why don't you make the whole plane out of the black yeah, box? Yeah, the, and this is going to fall really flat uh -huh. if you start looking like you yep. give a And it. boy, I tell you what, I used to come off stage and immediately, if uh, the guy wasn't there for the flashlight to take me down the steps, and I, I, I would say, to him, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know, I'd apologize <laughs> to him. But for that hour, yeah. I felt like a stone killer. I thought, why do this unless you're going to have oh. panache, savoir faire, brother? I love this. Well, for, for this 10 minutes, you were American Sniper all over again. <laughs> Everyone is dead. Dennis Miller, thank you for your time. Well, listen, man, I innovation. wish you well. I'm going to watch that special right away. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.